Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Elaine, my owner of What LBE. Okay, y'all, so I just want to come over here and show you guys the amazing find that I found on Amazon. Like, okay, so a lot of people have um, used so many different shelves and stuff like that, but I had to go with this particular one um, for a reason. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, y'all, so let's get into this video because like I said, y'all gonna flow me with so many questions and all types of comments in regards to what you see behind me. Okay, so I'm redesigning the shop and for those of you new to my, my, my channel, um, my shop is my upstairs bedroom, I work from home. Um, and I have the entire space up here um, as my shop, which is not big at all. So please don't take that as it being big. I try to be as efficient as I possibly can, but sometimes it still don't work out that way, especially when you constantly have to shop and catch the deals that you need to catch. So you have to come up with ways to be very, very versatile and efficient. So before we talk about this one, I'm gonna go over these again because I get questions still on these. And I know it's just because I have new subscribers. These totes, I have five here and five here. These totes came from um, Walmart um, several years ago, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, some people said they have seen some small ones um, and I have a few small ones on the other side of this room um, but they said they found some small ones at Sam's so you might want to check Sam's or Costco's maybe they have some or just check your local Walmart because your Walmart may have them and my Walmart just may be out and just didn't get no more I don't understand why they didn't get any more because I don't think they ever put them on clearance because they sold so fast um, but anyway um, they were I think they were $20 a piece or $10 a piece. No, they had to be more than $10. They was $20 a piece. Um, but I chose to make that investment because these things are huge. Um, and they have these grooves right here where they stack right into each other. So it's not like they sliding all over the place and all that. You know, like you, if you move it, you moving the whole thing. Okay. I don't know why this candle's in here. Um, but anywho, so this, that's where these came from. Um, and like I said, I have five over here and five over here. Um, and I've been refocusing on these and also just the whole entire room in general to try to be as efficient as I possibly can. And I need to see everything. So, Amazon. <laughs> I've watched so many Reef Maker videos just to see how they store their ribbon in the best way possible. And I've seen so many different shelves and stuff like that. But I needed something where... If I have the same of something, I can put one in behind the other. And then once I use what's left in the front, I can move that back and forward. And if I purchase some more, I can put the, you know what I'm saying? And just replenish it like I'm at an actual store. So I got on Amazon and I searched and searched and searched for the right shelf. Okay. These are, this is a shoe rack. It's supposed to hold 40 to 45 pairs of shoes. Now, because of the width of my space, I could not make the full shelf okay so the good thing about this shelf is that it um allows you to create the one that you need and then if you need like a separate shelf to to make with the rest of the products that came with this you can actually make a separate shelf and it's a full functioning shelf um they made it to where the numbers match up to however you make the shelf and if you have pieces left over, you can still make another small shelf or small little, you know, storage, whatever, um, with it. So, that's the good thing about that. So, I'm going to actually put the rest of it together and use it in another part of my shop, okay? Um, this is my, I have the bedroom, which is where I work at. And then I have, when you go outside of... Um, the bedroom there's like a little walkway along that wall on my reefs that i make for fall festivals um yes we do reefs here too just for fall though i don't i can't do it year round i don't have the time or the patience <laughs> but i do have it for the fall because that's when they really sell for me um and plus i don't have enough space up here to store tons and tons of reef uh products and also basket products. So I limit my reefs to just fall and Christmas. Um, and, and I just sell them at the festivals and whoever that wants to order a Christmas reef or a fall reef, that's how I flow, okay? 
Um, and then, of course, there, there's a few boxes and containers stacked over there, too, going along that walkway um, with um, toys and stuff, like the big box toys. I have them stacked nice and neat. Then you come around, there's a little space on the other side of my stairwell um, where I have all the other boxes stored. Boxes. <laughs> of products and i mean not products but um like teddy bears and uh easter stuff like the chalk and the bubbles and all it's all boxed up stacked up ready to go so i just swap out the seasons as the seasons come so like i've brought in the i only had two boxes of fall stuff out there so i brought the fall stuff in and also the um my floral that i use in my reefs and everything else i brought all that in brought all my christmas floral in um and just, you know, I just swap it out. I rotate it. That's the only way I can do it because I can't leave everything in here and stuff like that. Now, where I store my baskets is downstairs. So once I create a basket um, and finish like an order or whatever, it goes downstairs and I have two tables stacked on top of each other on the uh, blank side of my living room. <laughs> my living room stretches pretty much the whole length of this upstairs area. So on this side of my living room there's just nothing so i keep two stack tables there and i put the i store the baskets on there um and then we have our living space on the other side so that's how we work it uh i don't have a huge warehouse i'm praying for a warehouse i'm praying for the financials to be able to afford a warehouse and be able to bring everything that i have in here over there downstairs to the warehouse and that's where it will be and that's what we create and we will get more shelves out there like my dream is above and beyond but anyway this is for everybody that does not know the full um capacity or, or whatever in regards to how i run the shop okay um back to the shelf this shelf is now is a uh, 29.99 um i put it in the description again i put it in the description <laughs> so for those y'all to go in the comments and like how much was it do you have can i get the link all that okay again the the link is in the description <laughs> description okay um 29.99 uh it was ordered from amazon all you have to do is click the link um i am not affiliated with it um for those who don't know i i should be affiliated with amazon but i'm not okay so anything that i give you i'm just giving it to you at the kindness of my heart Okay, so you don't have to go searching for it. Um, but it was the best $29 I could ever invest in. Y'all, I kid you not. So, like, say, for instance, this ribbon here. Okay, so when I go to pull, and you actually, these big ones that you get from, like, Sam's and Costco's, you don't even have to take them out. Because once you get it full, I'm going to try to grab one. You see how it doesn't come out? It's snug in there. So, I actually can literally take the pin out of the ribbon. Oh, I just dropped it. I'll pick it up in a minute. Take the pin out of the rim and I can just roll. Y'all see that? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about this shelf. Do y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? I can just take it and roll it. I don't even have to pull it out. Um, So, most definitely, all of these will be filled, except for the ones at the bottom. All of these will be filled with the big, large rolls of ribbon from Costco's and Sam's so that i can stay stocked is the best way to get ribbon for me um because you're paying seven dollars for um seven or eight dollars for 50 yards and to me i think that's a great deal i may be wrong but i really think that's a great deal because a lot of websites i've looked at 50 yards is like 20 bucks and i'm like what so yeah not me so um if you're looking for an efficient way, and not just wind it up. Y'all see that? Oh my God, the holidays are going to be so great. <laughs> um, But yeah, so that's what I wanted to take, take, talk to you guys about. Because like I said, I know you guys are going to flood me with a lot of questions. Um, also, right here below, I actually built um, the bottom rack to be a little wider than the rest of them. And that's just to store like your leftovers um these containers came from dollar journal after christmas sale they were part of the after christmas and i got them 90 percent off so they were like um a dollar or two dollars a piece um but see 
I have all these like small rolls that I can still make at least one bow with. Um, and then I have the Dollar Tree rolls will not fit on that rack. So all of the Dollar Tree stuff um, that I have. But this is all Christmas. Just, you know, small rolls and I mean, some are full rolls, but they just don't fit on that actual shelf. So I put all of those in the container. And by leaving that extra space down there, I'm able to just slide this container on that bottom rack. And it also goes for these. Um, I end up catching these at a yard sale. Um, these really large rolls of white with silver lining. So it's just easy for me to just slide them in. And they still stick in the groove down there next to the other container. Um, so that's the, the way I thought to do make it more efficient is to use my totes. Put the like small little Dollar Tree rolls and stuff like that in there. I don't have that many Dollar Tree rolls. So therefore, it all fit in those containers. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was very helpful. Uh, like I said, the script, the, in the description, you will find the link for this particular shelf. Um, and again, whatever you don't use, you can make a whole nother shelf with that. Um, I'll come back in like a short or something and show you the mini shelf that I made with the rest of it. Okay. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.